Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back once again. It is me, Molt. So happy to be here with you guys today. Going over the three new legendaries, as you guys saw. We're going to go ahead and look at some of their stats right here. You can freeze it, whatever you need to, to look at it. First off, we're going to start off with the Miner. He's going to be a lot of fun, guys. Next, right here, we've got the Sparky, um, who is also going to be a lot of fun. I'm going to show you guys clips of all of them. <clears throat> you can see the arenas that they're uh, found in. The first two are found in Builder's Workshop. And, of course, the Lava Hound is found in Pekka's Playhouse Arena 4. So... You guys can get them. You guys can all get these legendaries. It's going to be a blast. So, right here, what do we have? You might be wondering. Well, right here, we have got the um, the Meyer. Okay? And here's what he does. We're gonna, Nick and I are going to do something really cool right here. We're going to cross over all four of them. They're going to pop up on... Guys, you can deploy them anywhere in the entire map. Okay? So they can be used tactically. Normally, they're not going to be used to do that much damage, as you can see right there. But here's an example. So, someone drops off... Um, uh, well, here's a little comparison, first of all, between the Miner and the Knight. So as you can see, the Miner is a little bit faster. Okay, so he's going to get to that tower faster, which means he's going to take less bullets on the way, but he's not going to get off as many hits as the Knight. Now, they are the same price. They're both three elixir. Um, but the thing about the Miner is, uh, again, that you can put him wherever you want to on the entire map. So right here, a princess is coming. I don't want that princess there. I'm going to go ahead and take her out with the miner. Sorry about that double elixir stuff. Um, so you can go ahead and take him out. You can take her out with the miner like that. Here we go again. What are we going to do now? I don't even know. We're going to go ahead and drop off two mirrored ones right at each other at the thing so you can see what they look like. It's really, really cool. Now the thing is you have to try and predict where they're going. So when someone drops it off, you're going to see the line and whatnot and you have to choose where they're going. If you're going to fireball, if you're going to freeze it, whatever it may be. So there is a little bit of a surprise when it comes to working with the miner. Now, what are we going to do? Sparky. Look at this thing. It is ridiculous. We're going to go Sparky versus Sparky in this left lane just to show you guys what it is. It is a, it's a vehicle. It's a massive Tesla tank. And it does work. Look at that. It just flashed the entire screen. I'm kidding. I took a screenshot. <laughs> um, so there it goes right there. That thing is crazy. It's so ridiculous. Here it is against the tower. Um, it's going to take two shots to take it down. But then, of course, it does take it down. Now, you guys might be looking at it and going, that thing is so unbelievably overpowered. It takes a long time to charge up, so it's a very big investment. Um, you can distract it with skeleton armor. You can distract it with barbarians. Now, it does do splash damage, obviously. Um, here it goes up against an Inferno Tower, but like I said, with that splash damage, it'll take out a group of four barbarians if they're huddled together. If they're in a straight line, it won't take them out. Here it goes up against a Prince. It's going to hit the Prince, kind of stop it, but look how long it takes for it to charge up. The Prince is going to be able to take it out. So the Prince is a good counter for it. Things like that. We're just going to go ahead and zap that Prince and get rid of him. <laughs> but it's going to be a fun card. It's going to be a blast. Now we're moving on to the Lava Hound. If you play Clash of Clans, you know about the Lava Hound. Here it is against some three Musketeers. It's going to pop, boom, get all those Lava Pups out, doing work. So the Lava Hound is going to be a big aerial tank, guys. It's going to be a Golem that's going to do work. We got another one right here going up against a wizard just to show how much damage it does take. So it doesn't do that much damage, but it does take a lot of damage. Um, it's really just a flying golem, honestly, because the golem breaks. Um, this doesn't do splash damage, but it does spawn a lot more little uh, minion-type lava pups, uh, which is a little bit different than the, uh, the golem, obviously. So here it goes up against an inferno tower, obviously one of the best counters for it, without a doubt. Um, and then the uh, Inferno Tower is going to get taken out right here um, by all of those Lava Pups. And then the Dragon's going to be in the front doing some work. So a Lava Pup is pretty much like a minion. It's going to do good damage to your tower. Not as much, obviously, and it's going to die very, very easily. But we can go ahead and take it out right here with some minions. Um, next, we're going to see a Musketeer against the Lava Hound, guys. Um, super stoked for all of this. I'm definitely going to be getting all of these cards. I'll do some gymming videos for you guys so y'all can see them in action in day-to-day -day gameplay. I'm very, very excited for this. Super amped. And we're going to end on something a little bit ridiculous here. But guys, comment down below what you think about all these. Nick and I are going to see how many Lava Hounds we can get on the screen. It's going to be ridiculous. So we're going to mirror them, etc., etc. I've got two down. He's about to have two down. Um, and whatnot. But let me know what your favorite legendary is down below, guys. I'm thinking the Miner is mine. Um, the, uh, the Sparky's pretty ridiculous if you, if you don't counter it well. If you try and surround it with Barbarians and you drop them all off in front, they're all gonna die and then you're screwed. Uh, so Sparky should be a lot of fun. You can see right here, again, we've just got a massive herd 
of uh, Lava Hounds. I'm taking a couple screenshots right there, but that's going to be it for the update, guys. Super excited about it. Somebody is blowing me up on text right now. I love you guys very much. Hope you all are as excited about this update as I am. If you enjoyed, make sure to leave a like on the video, and I will see you guys in the next episode, all right? As always, make sure you keep calm and you clash on, all right? Peace.